Welcome to another installment of Fighting for the Faith here on YouTube. If you remember, we recently covered Terry Savelle Foy teaching the doctrine of soul ties. And uh, we noted in that installment of uh, Fighting for the Faith here on YouTube that uh, the Bible nowhere teaches the doctrine of soul ties. In fact, there are the exact same number of verses that teach soul ties found in the Bible as teach the uh, doctrines of plenary indulgences and prayers to the Virgin Mary. Mm -hmm. Same exact number of verses, by the way, then that would be zero. And uh, so today we're going to be heading over to the uh, <clears throat> Jim Baker show, and uh, Perry Stone is appearing on the Jim Baker program, uh, and uh, Jim Baker, famous for selling survival food buckets and stuff like that, and uh, Jim Baker is going to start off by talking about Donald Trump, and why do people hate him so much? And <laughs> Perry Stone is going to say soul ties, and um, which, which kind of leads to the question, I mean, if I understood correctly... Uh, Terry Savelle Foy made it clear that uh, soul ties can be formed or form when people engage in formal caboodling and in inappropriate, you know, relational <clears throat> behaviors, things like that. So, I, <laughs> big as a question: uh, Are political soul ties formed when people, you know? Fornal caboodle with a politician? I'm just curious about this because nowhere in the Bible does it teach soul ties. So being a man-made doctrine, I mean, the sky's the limit as far as, like, what they can do, how they're formed. Yeah, there's no biblical, you know, way to stop them, so to speak, except for to point out that they're nowhere taught in Scripture. So let's go ahead and get the screen up. And uh, we're at the uh, Jim Baker show, so let's go ahead and listen in as they discuss... What soul ties to politicians and stuff. Here we go. You said God put him there. He's the Cyrus of the day. Mm -hmm. How can this be? What is the difference? You ready for a phrase? I want to know what the diff what's the difference between the two. Is it knowledge or what? Is it I knowledge that you have uh, in your head? Yeah. Knowledge that he but he has I, I I thought this was in your page one fifty four. Jim, here's your answer. Ready? All right. Dangerous soul ties to a political spirit. Oh, 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 oh. oh no. What are we going to do? Soul ties to a political spirit. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, that's found in the same part of the Bible where prayers of the Virgin Mary exist and those don't exist. So you get a note. Uh, Perry Stone be holding up a book in his hand there. That is not a Bible. No, that's his new book about end times codes and prophecies and stuff. <sighs> yeah, I wish I was making that up. Okay. Oh, Ooh. yes. Let me explain. Oh, read that again. Okay. That, there are dangerous. Now, listen. That's an answer. Now, this is the answer. Mm. It, there oh, is, it is a political soul spirit, tied. and there soul are people ties. who are soul tied to a political Ooh. party no uh, matter what happens. No! No, soul tied to political parties and stuff. Ah! It's the end of the world. No Bible text teaches this. This is a man-made doctrine. I've heard of They that. don't care if they kill I've babies. They don't care if they destroy marriage. Come on, they don't that. care if they wreck up the Bible. They Why don't you talk about the fact that people, human beings, are born dead in trespasses and sins, and they're at enmity with God. They do not obey God's law. They cannot do so. There are biblical texts that actually say that. It has nothing to do with soul ties. It has everything to do with the sinful human nature. So, well, Mama voted that way. Daddy voted that way. That's We're fourth right. generation. Yeah, it's a soul tie. It's a soul tie. And when you have... How can it be a soul tie? The Bible doesn't teach these things. That's that kind of is. a tie, it is the most... And here's why it's difficult to break. Ready? Because any tie like that is tied to emotion. Yes. Oh, oh yeah. So, yeah. They're, they're so difficult to break these soul ties. Yeah. But kryptonite, you know, with um, a garlic-soaked crucifix... That, yeah, that just 
you know, just cuts right through, chop, 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 cuts right through those soul ties. Yeah. Again, you know, since this is a man-made doctrine, you can come up with your own solution to how do I get rid of a soul tie? Well, first thing you got to do is you got to send me a thousand dollars. Yeah, send me a thousand dollars, and well, yeah, that's step one to you know, undoing your soul ties. And then you need to get some sage, you know, and uh, you, and you know, but buy it in a bundle, and you need to burn part of it in the basement of your house, in the north corner. Mm-hmm. And after that, you put salt around the uh, windows of the second floor of your house. And if you don't have a second floor, then you have to do this whole procedure at somebody else's house where they have a basement and a second floor. I'm just making all this up, by the way. It, it, the reason why is because the Bible don't teach nothing like this, and so he's just making stuff up, and everyone's going, ah, this is great, because, you know, Perry Stone, he's a Bible teacher, so he's telling me the truth. This has got to be from God, right? You no, know, this is not from God. We're going to talk about Boy, soul ties. Soul ties. Yeah. So it, ha- Are you all listening watch, at all? Watch him get emotional. Hear, is the sound on Watch him there? on the news. Oh, we do. No, watch him on the news get emotional. Real if, emotional. If somebody comes on. Oh, they're crying. If somebody comes on and says, well, you know there's a... North- yeah, see, the fact that somebody's emotional politically, <laughs> that proves they have a soul tie because nobody, you know, sanely, using sane logic and reason, would ever become emotional regarding anything a politician says. So the fact they got a, emotional proves they have a soul tie. Yeah, that, that, that particular doctrine cuts both ways, left and right. Have you noted, noticed that, Perry? Well, I'm just going to tell you what, working with a dictator ain't going to... I mean, if you watch the left, pay attention. The conservatives are sitting there keeping their calm, and the left is screaming, foaming at the mouth, beating the table, looking around... Why? Because... Yeah, I've noticed that about the left. And have you noticed that the left doesn't embrace biblical truth? And that they refuse to bend the knee to God's clear word and his law? Uh-huh. It, it's because of sin, by the way. Group is rationally comparing and say, okay, let's compare what's happened then to now. The economy's up, better jobs. There's something going on. But the other side is so tied to that side... And if they're tied to that side, it is impossible for them to agree with anything good. I mean, the man could get up and walk on water, raise somebody from the dead, and they're going to say, he's a false prophet. Right. Yep. That's what right. They, yeah. Um, it's funny you, you talk that way because Jesus Christ actually performed miracles in the sight of, you know, scribes and Pharisees. And they said that he had a demon, Beelzebub. Mm-hmm. And uh, Jesus said of them they were of their father, the devil, re- relating to the fact that they were under the dominion of darkness. Not, he didn't say anything about them having soul ties. Just wanted to point that out. Jesus, No, right? that's what they did to Jesus. <laughs> oh, see, see, the, the Pharisees... Okay, now, I, I'm a little uncomfortable with this particular line of logic, and the reason I'm uncomfortable with it is because comparing Trump to Jesus... <sighs> Yeah, that, that's facepalm. I don't care if you're right or left. That's facepalm territory right there. I understand it now. <laughs> <laughs> now. The Pharisees had a soul tie. I mean, the, the, the Pharisees had a soul tie to the Romans. Mm-hmm. What? What? <laughs> okay, uh, Perry, I need a biblical text. Chapter and verse, please, that says the, the Pharisees had a soul tie to the Romans. Um, yeah, let's see. I'm going to just do a quick search in my Bible, because I know it's in the Gospel of John, and uh, I think it's in 6, but uh, yeah, it, it, here it is. Uh, John 8. Okay, John 8, 44. Jesus says of them, you are of your father the devil, and your will is to do your father's desires. He was a murderer from the beginning. He does not stand in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he lies, he speaks out of his own character, for he is a liar and the father of lies. So the uh, so so here's the thing. Jesus never said, see, the reason why you're opposing me is because you have a soul tie to the Romans. No. He said, he said the reason why you're opposing me is because you're of your father, the devil. You see, the, yeah. So I'm going to go with the, the biblical explanation that Jesus gave us rather than this man-made doctrine that... <laughs> Perry Stone is giving us. By the way, which kind of begs the question, what will he be teaching next? Should we be praying to saints next, Perry? Because your doctrine is in the same category as that. 
So when Jesus came, they make this statement. We better deal with him because the Romans will come and take our position and take our city. Yeah. And they thought, Jesus, if he raises up too many people, the common people are going to raise up. If Politics the common people... and money. Absolutely. Politics. Yeah, so it's all about soul ties. And by the way, the next episode of the... Uh, Jim Baker show, which is what I got queued up right here. Uh, they talked again about soul ties. Apparently, this you know Jim Baker's mind just went, and uh, he, oh, oh boy, this whole soul tie thing—it's going to revolutionize my whole theology. Forget the fact that no biblical text teaches it. But do you see number seven here? And, mm -hmm. and, and this, you, I, 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 I love this general. Booth of the Salvation Army. Yeah. And there's the, there's the book, uh, Deciphering End Time Prophetic Codes. Yeah, that's the latest book from Perry Stone, basically. <clears throat> yeah, the false doctrine, uh, you know, oh, you want to learn the secrets of what's coming around the corner and, you know, who's going to be riding the beast and the Antichrist and all that. Oh, don't worry. Don't. Perry Stone has spent t you know, decades of his life cracking prophetic codes. Yeah, um, the fact that he has invented doctrines like soul ties, political soul ties, proves this man is just a wacko. Six prophecies. He was amazing, wasn't he? But he hit it on the head, mm. and most people have never heard him. Never. Never heard this, and, 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 I, and I bring those out. Founder Do you hear the sappy music playing in the background? Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, that's an emotional manipulation technique there. Page, yeah, page 145, I bring those six out and I comment on them because yeah. they've, all, they've all come to pass. It's amazing. amazing. Many years ago. But this it. number eight yeah. is spectacular. Soul spectacular. ties to political. Soul yeah. to, here's what's wrong in America. Soul ties to political spirits. Oh, no. This is what's wrong with America. How do we go about breaking all these soul ties? Well, since it's a man-made doctrine, okay, that means... I have a lot of authority here. Okay, let me let me explain here. I'm going to do something out of the kindness of my heart. Now, they want you to buy the, you know, code end time deciphering prophetic codes and all that kind of stuff. Oh, forget that. You know, you don't need to send your money to Jim Baker. You know, I, I agree, you know, so I'm going to just agree with them that the United States is steeped in political soul ties. And so being that I am as magnanimous as I am, and as kind and generous as I am, by the authority invested in me, see, from, from God Almighty, it's from some power somehow that was transferred to me in inexplicable ways, but using that authority for good and not for evil, and selflessly doing so, by the way, I have chosen to go ahead and break every existing political soul tie here in the United States of America. And here, here I go. I'm going to do it right now. There they are. They're, they're, that's it. They're, they're broken. Yeah, that's right. It's problem solved. So, folks, you know, I know that I, I'm now eligible to win the Nobel Peace Prize for 2018. Now that I've solved this political soul tie problem. But please, I, I, what I did, I did out of the kindness of my heart. I don't, I don't need glory for this at all. Let all the glory go to the Lord. That's why people go crazy. Mm -hmm. They have soul ties. Mm -hmm. You know, and you have people that uh, will say, well, we've always done that. Our family's always gone to that church. Do you have a soul tie to the wrong place? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, no, you don't anymore, because I just broke every one of them out of the kindness of my heart. Wow. You well, know, I think are, you, so well, that's you get why both Perry for seventy dollars. You answered the question that for seventy dollars you can jo join the Codes Prophecy and Teamwork Club at the Jim Baker program. That's seventy dollars wasted because I for free just cancel every single one of the political soul ties in the United States by the power invested in me through mysterious transmission of spiritual authority and stuff. Yeah. But Jim, you have a soul tie. You know you have a soul tie when you know you should change, and you won't. There. Mm, yeah, that's the, see that see, that's a soul tie. Yeah. There's that's the definitive. Found in Fourth Hesitations, chapter ninety-seven, in in the Apocrypha, I think. Um, yeah, so that's how you know. Yes. When you know that's you should it. do that something different. How can, no, when you know that's you. That's why I keep seeing. Why can these? Why do these people continue to? Conti yeah. 
In other words, I, and I've why t- can't these people see that this is a totally man-made doctrine and these guys are making stuff up? And everyone's going, whoa, I'm going to send $70 to Jim Baker. I might even buy a $1,000 food bucket. Oh, boy. People, I said, here's what the Bible says. This, 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 and this. That person believes against this, 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 and this. But you're still, you're still backing them. So the Bible says in the last days they'll believe a lie. Yeah. Right. You know, yeah. Mm-hmm. In fact, let me, let me let this verse kind of roll out across the screen. Watch this. Yeah. There it is. Okay. 2 Thessalonians 2.11, Therefore, God will send them a strong delusion that they should believe the lie. Yeah, said unironically by Jim Baker, but noted as the irony it is here at the Fighting for the Faith YouTube channel and the Fighting for the Faith podcast, because, yeah, the whole idea of political soul ties, soul ties in general, that's a lie, which basically proves that Perry Stone and Jim Baker clearly have come under the strong delusion mentioned in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, which, by the way, is oh so fascinating, worth looking at, by the way. 2 Thessalonians 2 says this, Concerning the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ and our being gathered together to him, we ask you, brothers, not to be quickly shaken in mind or alarmed either by a spirit or a spoken word or a letter seeming uh, to be from us to the effect that the day of the Lord has already come. Yeah, apparently back in the time of the Apostle Paul, they had uh, <laughs> rapture dreamers and stuff like that. Um, anyway, uh, let no one deceive you in any way for that day, the, the day of the Lord, when Jesus returns. It will not come unless the rebellion, fascinating word, by the way, there in the Greek, uh, rebellion, Greek word apostasia, mm-hmm, it means, you know, rebellion, lawlessness. Unless the rebellion comes first and the man of lawlessness is revealed, the son of destruction, who opposes and exalts himself against every so-called God or object of worship so that he takes his seat in the temple of God, proclaiming himself to be God. So this is talking about the coming lawless one, the man of lawlessness himself, who sets himself up in the temple of God, which is the church, proclaims himself to be God, and here's what it says then. So do you not remember that when I was was still with you, I told you these things, and you know what's restraining him now so that he may be revealed in his time? For the mystery of lawlessness is already at work. Only those who now, uh, the one who restrains it will do so until he's out of the way. And then the lawless one will be revealed, whom the Lord Jesus will kill with the breath of his mouth and bring to nothing by the appearance of his coming. The coming of the lawless one. Now this then sets the context for verse 11. The coming of the lawless one is by the activity of Satan, with all power and false signs and wonders, and with all wicked deception. Mm -hmm. Yes, the teaching of political soul ties falls under the category of a wicked deception. For those who are perishing because they refuse to love the truth and so be saved. So because of that... God, therefore, sends them a strong delusion so that they may believe what is false, like the doctrine of political soul ties, in order that they that all may be condemned who did not believe the truth and who had pleasure in unrighteousness. So ironic that uh, Jim Baker would quote 2 Thessalonians 2.11 while proclaiming the man-made doctrine of political soul ties. Yeah. I think you get the point. So if you found this helpful, like our video, that definitely helps us. Of course, share the video. That's another way to help us. And of course, if you're interested in supporting the Ministry of Pirate Christian Media, all of the information on how to support us is below. And of course, if you don't already subscribe to our podcast, you can do so over at fightingforthefaith.com, where on a daily basis we put out basically two hours of long-form discernment work so that you can learn how to properly understand God's Word, protect yourself from false teaching and man-made doctrines like this one, and other things. So, until next time, may God richly bless you and the grace and mercy won by Jesus Christ in his vicarious death on the cross for all of your sins. Amen. 